What's up guys, uh, me and Mrs. Butterworth were sitting here talking about uh, showing you guys the new stretch I did. Uh, yeah, stretch, that's the name. I'm just going to let her sit here. And <laughs> oh God, my wife is staring at me like I've lost my mind. Uh, was curious to see how ZDP 189 looks when it's stonewashed and it's pretty different than the S30V. ZDP is a lot harder, or not naturally, it is ran harder than S30V. Um, the milli I did was around 60 HRC and I think this is around 64. So it took it a little differently. Um, curious to see how it looked just for my own, um, my own knowledge and I figured why not show you guys, you may be interested. So I guess I'll just go ahead and show it. Um, satin blade, ZDP stretch, stone washed blade, ZDP stretch. Same hue, just different finish. Took it much more evenly. Um, I did leave it in longer, left it in there about hmm, four and a half hours today, total. And I also crushed about 20 or 25 of the stones so I had little giblets in there and I think that made a little bit of a difference but yeah the the stone wash is pretty apparent on this one gonna get my focus right there we go um, you can readily see that it's stone washed has a nice even look in my opinion sparkly in some spots but as the stones wear in the sparkly spots are getting fewer and fewer it's more and more even each time I do this and these spots are not so bright in real life it's something about the way this camera picks them up this is not as sparkly as it appears in cam I don't know why it's doing that but it it seems to reflect the light a lot more readily than it does in real life to your eyeballs um, but I like this it's getting better and better in my opinion um, I think the stone wash just fits this knife probably will stone wash the clip I do want them to match um, but I like this ZDP scratches fairly easily in my experience I don't know why but it uh, it does it either scratches easily or it just shows the scratches more readily. But ZDP, in my experience, has been kind of scratchy, and that bugs me. So it's also prone to staining. So I'm going to see how the the stone wash reacts with the staining. If it uh, helps it, if it if it causes it to stain more, I don't know. Going to see. People were asking about what it does to the jimping and uh, what it does to the tip. It does pretty much nothing to the tip. I mean, it dulls it just a little bit, but that's still sharp enough to stab you. Um, it does round. The very, very apex gets rounded off, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. The stones are actually much more gentle than you would imagine. Um, you would expect this fine jimping down here to be damaged. Um, you can see that it's pretty, pretty fine, but it's actually not. Um, it doesn't really do anything to it at all. It just kind of stays, stays nice and sharp. This blade didn't even dull all that much. Uh, this would probably. I mean, it's dull as in no bite, but it, it would actually probably still cut paper if you tried. Um, so, yeah. A couple close-ups. Getting more even. I actually think this is the best it's done yet. In my opinion. Of course. A lot of people seem to not like it. I don't know if it's just because I've done it or what, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot.
the satin is prettier but for a working knife something you're going to be putting in your pocket every day and using I think this stone wash is awesome it's going to hide wear very well and you don't see any grind lines something strange about this as well all of the grind lines are gone um, with the military the grind lines were left behind but this is uh, completely erased I mean it's smooth like glass so that's pretty cool yep anyways just wanted to show you let me know what you think it's getting better and better in my opinion more even and more even probably gonna let it run tonight um, just to wear the stones down a tad bit see what that does anyway thanks for watching guys as always and I will see you next time